a bunch of free agent contracts have come down. There have been a number of really big deals, uh, like Sammy Watkins making $16 million a year, and Anthony linebacker Anthony Hitchens making $9 million a year. And there are some rumors that Nate Solder is the apple in a couple of teams' eyes, including the Browns and the Texans. What do you think that means for his chances to come back to the Patriots? Well, I think it's kind of a perfect situation for Nate Solder because it's a really weak tackle market, and he's really the only – he's it, basically. I mean, some other guys might get cut, but he's it. So he's probably going to get overpaid. And he's – I mean, I, I think ideally he'd probably want to come back to New England, but he's going to make them – pay a, a fair amount there I don't think they're going to be able to lowball him because he's going to have teams like the Browns and like the Texans who are willing to 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 give him uh, legitimate money so it's going to be it's going to be an interesting one I don't think it's as much of a home run for Nate Solder to come back as people might have thought maybe a month ago yeah and probably the biggest threat is that um, the Patriots don't have that much cap space to give and I believe the top end of the uh, tackle free agent market is about $13 million a year. And if the Cleveland Browns have one thing, they don't have much, but they have a lot of money to spend. Yeah. Yeah. And the Patriots, like the Browns have, a, I think it's here. I'm on the, I'm on right now. They have, they have $82 million. And then you have the Texans who have $65 million. So the Patriots are at 21. So they clearly cannot, they can't come with the same contract. Those two teams can, um, they can structure it in a way where they can try to keep the year one cap hit fairly low if they give Nate Solder a big signing bonus spread out over four years. So they can structure it in a way where maybe they're going to pay him like $25 million guaranteed, but they're going to spread it out. And that could come back to hurt them uh, later on uh, if, in the cap situation in like 2020, 20, uh, 2021. But that could be the approach for the Pats because they're going to need to, to me, give him – something in the range of $20, 25000000 million guaranteed because that's what these other teams are going to come with. I don't – you know, in his heart of hearts, I'm sure he'd like to stay, but if a team like Cleveland offers him um, something outlandish, like the highest – I mean, they're, they're in position to offer him more than any offensive tackle has ever been paid. I mean, you've seen each year, because the cap keeps moving up, each year the highest contract for each position – just jump and jump, and Solder has found himself in a free agent uh, tackle class where there's really not much competition. So um, those teams are going to give him a, a huge offer, and the Pats have to come somewhere close. They're not going to be able to match it, but they've got to come somewhere within that range for him to come back. 